We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. Those who lost their lives. 1914-18 Herbert Baker William Baker Frederick Bright William Church, John Claringbold, Robert Claringbold, George Collar, Reginald Coulthus, Frank Dormer, William Downs, Thomas Edwards, William Giles, William Garrett, George Gates, Edward Groom, William Hames, Arthur Hockley, Ernest Holdup, Arthur Holloway, Alfred Hopgood, William Hunt, Robert Javes, Arthur Loveland, Frederick Wilkinson, John Marshall, Harry Mathias, Christopher Patrick, Ernest Porter, Arthur Rockle, Thomas Sawkins, George Smith, Albert Tomlin, Arthur Warner, Walter White, William White, 1939-45, Donald Stanley Coles, John Charles Grey Goose, Leslie George Morell, Frank Newell, Frederick Walter Theobald, Howard Edward 
winter. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pledge ourselves today to live as good neighbours, to honour the past, to care for all who are in need, and to live at peace among ourselves and with all people. We join together saying, Lord God, 
Father of all, we pledge ourselves to serve you and this neighbourhood, to bring relief to all who are in need, and comfort to the sad, lonely and distressed. Keep us ever mindful of the struggles and achievements of former generations, and of this place where we make our home, now and in the days to come. Amen. Strengthen our hearts and hands and minds, O Lord, to work together for peace, to see you in one another, and to seek your kingdom above all things, that your will may be seen to be done and your kingdom come, through Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Amen. As we ask that God's will may be done in this and every place, so we pray together as Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you, this day and always. Amen.